Let's bring in Louisiana Republican Senator John Kennedy, who is a member of that committee. Senator, good to see you today. So the FBI has had information from an informant as far back as 2020 that then Vice President Biden and his son were allegedly involved in a $10 million bribery scheme between the two of them. The big question is, what has happened with the investigation since that information came to light? Well, look, I think the FBI is the premier law enforcement agency in all of human history. And I'm not going to vote to abolish them or defund them. But you don't have to be Euclid to know that over the past five years, uh, there have been people at the FBI and at the Justice Department who have acted on their political beliefs. I mean, the FBI Director Comey investigated President Trump on evidence that the Hillary Clinton campaign gave to him. Um, it was inevitable in light of President Trump's prosecution that the mm -hmm. issue of selective prosecution was going to be raised. What about Secretary Clinton's emails, for example? Now, uh, Senator Grassley, who has a great deal of credibility, has received a document from a whistleblower inside the FBI uh, based on a, a, a trusted informant that says President Biden uh, has been bribed and that the people that bribed him have tapes. Now, I don't know if all of that is true or not, but we're entitled to see that document. Mm -hmm. First, the FBI said, well, we can't even tell you that it exists. And then they said, you can see it, but it has to be redacted. Right. They won't tell us whether they even investigated the allegations. The, the, only, the only people who can fix this, John, are the head of the FBI and, and the attorney general. So the American people, I was, I was, I was just going to say, the American people uh, understandably have doubts, and only only Chris Ray and, and and the Attorney General can address those doubts, and you can't find either one of them uh, w with a search party. They just the, won't answer. Yeah, the, those doubts were really heightened when Senator Grassley said, "Look, I looked at the redacted 1023 document and found out that part of what was redacted were this information was this information that there were uh, 17 recordings of phone calls between Joe and Hunter Biden and some executive from Burisma." Uh, Senator Blackburn of the great state of Tennessee asked Paula Bate about that yesterday. Listen to this exchange. He chose to redact the the fact that there are 17 voice recordings, two of those with the now president, you chose to redact that and not to give that to House Oversight. I have Is no idea accurate? if there are voice recordings or not. How, how was it that the deputy director of the FBI wouldn't know if there are recordings or not? I would think that he would have read that form. Maybe he didn't. I think he does know. I don't think he's being allowed to say. Um, and, and these are fair questions, and the American people are entitled to the answers. Um, and particularly in light of the way the FBI acted when President Trump was president, and now the way they're acting uh, while President Biden is president. These are fair questions, and only the FBI director, Director Ray, and the attorney general can, can clear this up, and neither one of them will say a word. And trust me, it is just not going to get it anymore. Now, you know, there are, there are obviously questions about a double standard that are being raised in, in relation to the documents investigation. Uh, former President Trump gets popped. So far, Biden has skated when he's being investigated for the same thing. And then there's all of these allegations that the FBI has regarding bribery. Do, do you believe that Attorney General Merrick Garland is running cover? For the president? I believe that uh, a lot of people believe that. I don't know. But I believe there's a perception out there among the American people. There's certainly a perception of that on Congress, and only the Attorney General can, can address that. And Dog the, the Bounty Hunter couldn't find the Attorney General right now. He refuses to talk about it. So does the FBI Director. These are all fair questions. They're not going away for the, the integrity of the FBI as an institution and the Department of Justice, 
the two heads need to look the American people in the eye in front of God and country and tell them the truth. And until well, that happens, this isn't going away. Well, if, if Dog is looking for the Attorney General, uh, he's on Pennsylvania Avenue at the Department of Justice right now. Apparently, he's in a meeting. <laughs> but, Senator, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time.